Holding our breath uh, is the result of my experience with the uh, Canadian Forces Artist Program, uh, where I went to uh, Kandahar, Afghanistan, and then a forward operating base, uh, Masamgar. With the program, uh, you have an opportunity to create a body of work uh, that reflects that experience. So really, my intent in going to Afghanistan, or to be part of that program, was to observe the sort of daily life uh, of the soldiers. From that, I determined to create an um, uh, interdisciplinary sort of uh, uh, exhibition. The paintings themselves are, are two portraits of the two First Nation soldiers I met there, uh, Master Corporal uh, Jamie Gilman and uh, Corporal Percy Bedard. Within the military and, and uh, art history of the, of the military, uh, portraiture has been uh, something that has, is common to a lot of the conflicts throughout the, the ages. The middle piece is sort of an homage to them and the four elements of tobacco, sweetgrass, uh, sage, and cedar, of course, represent sort of the spiritual material uh, for First Nations people. This installation uh, called Sandbox um, was something that sort of came out from the experience and uh, of course being in the desert and uh, being surrounded by sand. The whole idea of the Sandbox too is that idea of child's play. Um, how, you know, we grow up in sandboxes and you know that's the place where maybe we start to play war, <laughs> you know, as, a, as little children. The memorial piece called Memory is uh, comprised of 158 small block um, canvases with the uh, rank, the name of the soldier, the age uh, that the soldier was killed in, in Afghanistan. I've whitewashed them so you start to lose the names and uh, it's called memory and it also has a chair, a black chair that sits in front of them. They're painted white with red sides again relating to the Canadian colors and um, it is about memory and how quickly over time our memory does fade. Uh, and and, and, and I, it is a memorial in, uh, to those soldiers in a respectful way, but also to question, you know, do we ever really learn from war? If I think it's always really important to get a, a real perspective in understanding what it is before I critique or before I, I speak about it in a way that, you know, you know, that I may have if I hadn't gone, you know, and, and, that, and, and I, I find I have a lot more. But I think, you know, like anything, it's important to have compassion. And, um, and for me to understand, even though I may disagree uh, with the conflict, to still understand that, you know, that this is going on and that these are people and, and that uh, that's important to, to honor them in some way.